Preparations are underway for tomorrow morning's launch of an Atlas V rocket here from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The launch window opens at 11.11 a.m. and stays open for about half an hour. Weather conditions look very favorable, a 90% chance of good weather for the launch. If for some reason or other the schedule slips to Wednesday, then the odds decrease to 80% chance, and that window opens at 10.48 a.m. on Wednesday morning. United Launch Alliance's Atlas V will blast off with an orbital ATK Cygnus spacecraft bound for the International Space Station. It carries 7,600 pounds of science experiments, cargo, and supplies. It'll be orbital ATK's seventh commercial resupply services mission. This is the ULA launch that was delayed from March after two separate issues with hydraulics. New experiments packed into the spacecraft include a Kennedy Space Center-led effort to grow plants in space, an investigation that could improve chemotherapy drugs in the fight against cancer, and tools that will help reproduce Earth-like cell cultures. Cygnus will also deploy CubeSats. These are the bread box sized satellites meant for research, primarily built by university students from around the world. When the Cygnus departs the space station in July, it will conduct its final experiment, Sapphire 3. The spacecraft will be loaded with trash and destined to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. But it will become a test bed when a fire is lit on a panel for about 20 minutes. The experiment will help further understanding of how to detect and clean up after fires in space. And for the first time, NASA will broadcast a 360-degree video of the launch. You can view it at youtube.com slash NASA television. For WFIT, I'm Rick Lasby at the Kennedy Space Center.